Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a 12 by 12 layout using this photo here of my daughter. And you can see on my desk, I pulled out quite a few items from that scrap stash kit I put together at the beginning of, of April. I'm working my way through that kit and the next video you see from me should be a flip through of all of the layouts I got completed in April and what's left of that scrap stash kit. So if you've been following me along, this is the last layout I'm going to be using that kit for. And I'll, I'll show you what's left and let you know if I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out or move it on to the next month. So here we have this cardstock that I, um, I added to the kit. You can see I have some ink blending on the background i started stenciling on there it did not work out pretty good so i went ahead and just pushed it aside i wanted to try to incorporate the ink blending onto one of my layouts this month but it just was not working out with any of the photos that i pulled out to use so i'm going to use this as a as the base for my layout today but you're not going to see any of the ink blending at all so i will use it as the base right now and i'm using lots and lots of scraps here you can see i'm using them pulling them sorry tearing them apart here and using them as strips to cover most of this background so i'm gonna flip over this pattern paper use both sides and I want the torn edge to show, including the white part of the torn edge. Now, these strips are gonna be staggered on the background. They're not gonna be all the same height. They're not gonna go to the full 12 inch height at all. And I did not have enough to cover the entire background. So you'll see how I make that work uh, for this layout. So the first one I lay there would be the pink and that goes the entire length. I am also pulling in this vellum, this beautiful, beautiful vellum that I added to my scrap stash as well, my kit. This one is kind of wide. I tried ripping it there, you can see, but it's pretty, um, it was a little harder to, to tear. So I used my scissors. That one will not have that torn edge. So I'm just going to alternate between the pink, the vellum, and the black pattern paper there. Use my ATG adhesive. Go ahead and tuck all of these layers in. Now, once I got to where my photo would be, I decided to go ahead and cut my strips there just to make it work because I definitely do not have enough strips to cover this entire background. So where you're not going to see, I am not going to add any strips behind my photo. Now I do this with this black strip. I do the same thing with this thin pink strip. And those black pattern papers there uh, and the pink ones are from Close to My Heart. I will go ahead and add links to any of these items once they're still available down in my description box if you want to check that out along with the video where i share the entire scrap stash kit that i'm using this month so now i wanted to go ahead and leave the remainder the right side without any strips but i don't want the green to show so you can see there i went ahead cut apart my paper i am gonna add my vellum as the last strip leaving a little piece hanging off, add some adhesive to the vellum and attach, flip over my white cardstock here with the green, flip it over and now you have the white cardstock on the front side. I'm gonna cover up a bit of that seam here, a bit more using some more vellum and also some more of the black and the pink pattern paper strips. I absolutely love how this background turned out, how this, um, all of these strips worked together. The torn edge definitely added in some interest there on the background as well. So now I want to go ahead and matte this entire background on some black cardstock. Now the white cardstock that I have all of my strips on, it's pretty flimsy. It's a cheaper cardstock from Joann's. 
So I decided instead of removing the center part of my black cardstock like I would normally do and save that center part, maybe for matting photos later on, I decided just to go ahead and adhere this entire background here on that black cardstock. And doing that, I definitely get it the support I needed and I'm just using some textured black cardstock here. This is from American Crafts. So now my background is all ready. I am gonna work on my photo. I am using a black cardstock to map my photo on. And you can see I did leave a very thin white border around my photo once I trimmed it up. I'm also using some foam adhesive here just to add a little bit of dimension behind that photo once I lay it down. Now I'm gonna use my T-square ruler, add it to my background, and I went ahead and ripped it off because I wanted to use the gold flakes that was also added to that scrap stash kit. Now I got the rose gold flakes all used up on my previous layout. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. I used up all of that, um, of those flakes. I have this one here, it's gold. There's a little bit of variation in the shades of gold you get in there and there's also a touch of silver as well. Now I am doing the same technique I used on my previous layout where I use my ATG adhesive, added where I want my flakes to be. Then I'll carefully, carefully add my flakes to the area that I added my adhesive. And I will use my fingers to rub it in, press it in really good onto that adhesive. And then I'll use my blending tool with a clean foam attached to it and go ahead and burnish that in even more. Press it pretty good and burnish it in there. And it will also remove all of the excess flakes. You do not want the flakes getting everywhere all over your layout or your photo. And I will go ahead and save all of these bits and pieces here. And I go ahead and shake it off onto a cardstock. That way it's pretty easy to add back into that little container there. And you do not want to do this with your ceiling fan on. This, these flakes go everywhere. They're very light, so they go everywhere. Now I will repeat the same process here two times again. Now here where I'm adding it behind my photo, I just want it peeking out from behind my photo. So I add a little of that ATG adhesive to the top and the bottom and go ahead and repeat the process there. Now the one all the way on the left, I want it all the way down that, um, that pattern paper. So I'm repeating the, exactly, the exact same process, but this time it's going, that strip is gonna go all the way down. I love the pop of gold that that gave this layout. And now I will go ahead and add my photo onto the background. So next up, I will go ahead and begin embellishing uh, this layout. I pulled out here a die cut pack from Moonstruck from Pink Paisley. That is a really, really old collection. I don't think it's available anymore, but I'm so happy I got a, quite a bit of those die cut pieces used up today. So right now I'm just going through the pack here and pulling out the pieces that I think will work on this layout. And next up, I'm going to be working on my clusters. So I'm going to begin by fussy cutting this floral piece here. And I'm going to remove part of that card as well. And begin a cluster on the lower right corner of my photo. I will go ahead and add some foam adhesive behind that piece. And that way it's lifted off the page. And I do that for several pieces here in my clusters. I add some foam adhesive just to add some dimension on the layout. So once I have that in place, I am gonna work on my title. I use some word phrases from that same die cut pack from Moonstruck. And I add in the word that says amazing, beautiful. And now I will add in quite a few floral pieces. And I love the bright, beautiful pinks that I got in this pack, it went really nice with my, um, really nicely with my background there. 
so you can see i'm gonna add this larger floral piece to the lower left corner of the photo and these longer florals here next to my photo i'm adding some foam adhesive just to the top part of the floral so they're lifted off the page but i do add some liquid adhesive to the stem to keep them in place this one i'm just going to add it directly onto the background and the leaf i will add some some foam adhesive behind the leaf as well now you can see i have the word lovely laying on my desk on the left side there i really wanted to use that on this layout and i will lay it across the floral piece that i'm adding on to my photo right now i did pull that floral piece up because i felt it needed a little extra lift so i doubled up on my foam adhesive and added it back onto the layout so now i'm going to pull in some more of these gold puffy stickers and tuck them into the clusters i use some leaves and some florals as well from there and then i will get to use finally the pink bow and the black and white bow that i added to my scrap stash kit both of those are from felicity jane i'm gonna adhere them to the layout using some glue dots some small glue dots i tried using those hearts the wooden hearts but it just was not working at all for this layout i added quite a bit of those wooden hearts i got a lot used up and those are all that i have left but it just would not work on this layout you can see i also added another word phrase to that lower right corner it says life was made for moments like these and here i'm adding in some gold splatters using my liquitex gold paint ink sorry not paint ink and i'm also using some nuva drops here in gold and adding a few of those as well i will give you guys a close-up look at the completed layout i hope you guys enjoy the process don't forget join me really soon to get a flip through of all the layouts i completed and what we have left here from this scrap stash kit i'm so happy with all that i got used up this month and here to finish things off i am just adding i believe three or four different word phrases above my photo and to that cluster on the lower right corner i'm gonna tilt my layout here just so you can see the lovely gold strip i have going on there on that left side and i love what those gold strips added to this layout i still have quite a bit of that um little container left so i'm gonna probably move that on to next month's kit i definitely want to create another scrap stash kit for me so stay tuned for that here we have some still shots and if you enjoy the process today be sure to give me a thumbs up before you leave and i want to thank you all for watching so until my next video bye